I, I want to kick things off with a very special guest. Um, uh, one of my favorite segments, uh, a recurring segment I've done a few times, with a very imaginative title. It's called High School Reunion. And uh, I believe we have a graphic that I stole off the internet. Yeah, that's, those aren't my school's colors. <laughs> the segment that I, that I do here is I interview someone I haven't seen or talked to since I graduated from high school o over 10 years ago. Yeah. At this least. Is, at least, yeah. And um, it turns out I have a very impressive high school class because tonight's guest, she's a writer, director, and actor whose debut feature film, Appropriate Behavior, premiered at Sundance last year and was released in select theaters and video on demand just last week to rave reviews from the New York Times critic A.O. Scott and Lena Dunn, who cast her in season four of HBO's Girls, currently airing. She plays Chandra, Hannah's Iowa Writers Workshop classmate. So by the transit of property, I'm Lena Dunn's classmate, right? <laughs> I guess that works. I'm delighted to welcome to the show, from the Horace Mann class of 2003, the lovely and talented Desiree Akhavan. <laughs> It's a nice small and stage. Here, small it's okay. stage. It's, right. it's very cozy. It. Close quarters here. I just have to say before you. Yeah. Me, what are you, you going to say? Scott said that this was a segment about people he had not seen or spoken to right. since high school. That's, is that? You did not see or speak to me in high school. <laughs> in high school either. Scott was the student body president, <laughs> and I would eat my lunch in the recital hall lobby. <laughs> Did you? Because I had that degree of social phobia. So but you realize I, 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 I wasn't like I was the popular kid, though. Yeah, I mean, he was. I popular. won. What neighborhood did you live in when you were growing up? Uh, Westchester County neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Okay. We so both have worked, that. It worked in in uh, real estate. So if you were on Park Avenue, you were like the creme de la creme. Right, right. The Park Avenue kids. The I saw Mallory Stuchin was a guest. Yes, uh, she was. So she she was in Park <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> Uh, Horace Manor. Yeah. She was the top tier. The, top the lower tier. tier was like Upper West Side. <laughs> like maybe, Chelsea. Your, maybe your parents worked for the New Yorker. Scott yeah. invites the top tier girls on because he was not there in high school. That's yeah. right. That was, that was the agenda with Mallory. And uh, I lived in Rockland County. <laughs> That's like the farthest you can live from yes. Horace Manor. So. I, I commuted two hours <laughs> by helicopter. <laughs> A small troll asked me three questions. I didn't come up <laughs> I want to get into high school, certainly. Let's do this. But do you want to do it now? I want to talk about the crazy year you've had. It's been exactly a year since your film premiered at Sundance, right? And this whole, I mean, walk us through this year. Is this like, have you had a chance to process it yet? This has been a crazy year for you. Yeah, no, I mean, I have good chunks of time where I, you know, Put in my bed in the fetal position, uh, watching Friends lately. Yeah. Friends, who who noticed it's that Max added all eleven seasons. So that's been my January. Hey, you. And uh, you know, repetitive masturbation. Those are that like, was your January. <laughs> that is how I spend my free time now. But you've been traveling, right, been with traveling the film, and then taking breaks for <laughs> Friends and masturbation. <laughs> Look, I, I share that with you too. Believe. Me. Yeah. I mean, Horace Mann instilled in us a very rigorous sense of the importance of masturbation. Yeah, I mean, girls took like three weeks to shoot. I'm, I have a really small part. Yeah. We've built this for as much as we can, but I'm in just a few episodes and all I do is roll my eyes. Are people calling now? I mean, you have an, you have an agent now for on-camera stuff? For on-camera stuff? Yeah. There's, a, there's an agent that's really specific. On-camera stuff? On-camera Acting? Stuff. It's funny, the agent thing. There's, uh, they give you a team of people at some agencies. So I right. a, there's an on-camera lady and an off-camera lady and um, like a tap dancing guy. <laughs> Someone who just does, you know, hand modeling. You're, you're, you're keeping all options open. Yeah, you gotta hustle. You gotta diversify now. Um, I saw the film last night, it's very personal. Can you nutshell it for the audience here? We have a trailer we're gonna show, but you wanna, what's the, what's the, the capsule synopsis? Um, it's a gay Annie Hall. Yeah. It's a gay Annie Hall. <laughs> Persian Annie Hall. Yeah. Uh, Why is right? gay Annie Hall enough for you? Gay, oh, we can stick with gay Annie Hall. Should we just watch the trailer? Yeah. Okay. I, I can't explain it. Neither of us can explain the movie. Let's take, let's take a look at the trailer for Appropriate Behavior out now. Um, I saw this movie. I suggest you all do too. I enjoyed it more than Tiny Furniture. I'm going to say it. What? Yeah, yeah, I did. Funnier than Tiny Furniture. And not just because we went to high school together. 